I'm Jack from Jackie V Stuff and I haven't worn or cleaned my Doc Martens in six months. This is nasty. In Malaysia or any tropical country, you need to wear your shoes quite often. Non air conditioned air, maybe the moisture. It is leather and most leather shoes will grow stuff and dust on the shoe. Why haven't I worn it in six months? Well, I bought my Doc Martens when I was in London because I was in London and I'm basic. If you're basic or you have Doc Martens, leave a comment. It was a 1461 for life. Yes, Doc Martens used to make for life lifetime warranty. Unfortunately, they no longer do this. I bought my shoes back to Doc Martens in 2014 and the guy said, good lord, yes, you can definitely claim warranty. But, but, we no longer do this for life service. So the pair of shoes we give you, that's it, no more. To be honest, the leather feels different. It feels thicker. The sole feels, I feel a bit taller as well, maybe a couple of millimeters. And if you look closely, although the leather is cracked, there isn't actually a hole in it. And it has been, what, 13, 14, eight years of wearing the shoe almost every day. So one day around six months ago, my mum kept my shoes and I didn't think much of it. And today I opened a box in the storeroom and there it was. So six months in the storeroom. It's nasty. What should I use? Always use Dr. Martin's Wonder Balm. Wonder Balm. They keep changing containers, packaging styles. Basically it comes with a sponge applicator, which you may or may not use. You can use the cloth. And the Wonder Balm. Ooh, it's nice. Start with the sole, the dirtiest part first. Wow, much better. The four lives are made in England and they cost around 140 pounds compared to around 95 pounds for the normal ones. You can see that my sole is completely used up and there's actually a couple of holes here at the bottom. So I'll give it a couple, couple more years before I claim warranty. Remove the laces, even though you're lazy. I'm the laziest person I know, and I still remove my laces. And polish your shoes every week with this Wonder Balsam, Wonder Balm. It's good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Damp cloth, fold it in half first. Uh, show you this. Ooh, first pass. How should I do this? Basically, just I don't know, get the dust and mold off the shoe. Oh, this is so nasty. And it kind of smells musky and like how things are six months without aircon. So yeah, guys, if you have expensive shoes, keep them in your bedroom because your bedroom is where you have aircon. The sound is from the cracked leather. It's cracked. I can't do anything about it. I'm a photographer and I'm usually bending down a lot to take photos. So you see the, the patina is here. Basically you can't use too much. It's just expensive. Put it everywhere. Put it in the seams. Put it on the cracks. Butt crack. Normally I wouldn't put this much, but it's been six months and I don't want my dog Martins to fall apart. They were expensive. Some people say you have to buff out this polish, this Wonder Balm later. You don't. It's just if you don't buff it out, dust will stick to it and it will be nasty as well. So I'm going to leave this on nice and thick until I actually go out. So eight years, used almost every day. What's a dog Martin story? Leave in the comments. Subscribe.